everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on something I've seen going around YouTube a lot lately and it is the everyday versus Instagram makeup and I have seen myself in all of this and all of this but never half and half so it's kind of fun just seeing it, it just shows you the power of makeup and the different things that you can do with it some days I want to do this other days I want to do this some days I don't want any makeup at all so yeah if you guys want to see how I created both of these looks then please keep watching okay so I'm gonna start off with priming my whole face because I would do that either way and I'm first using the Nivea Men post shave balm and I'm just gonna put that all over just a nice sticky base and then I'm taking some of the benefit professional and I'm just gonna put that in the center where I have larger pores Again, on both sides, because even if I'm not doing that much makeup, I want to make sure I have a nice, even, smooth base. Okay, so I'm going to make this half my Instagram side and this half, half, and this half my everyday side. So I'm going to go ahead and do my everyday side just because it's going to be quicker. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade 105 in natural beige and I'm just going to use a synthetic kabuki brush to apply so then I'm going to go ahead and do my brow on this side and I'm just using the Anastasia dip brow and for my everyday, I don't do like lining it all out with a pencil and carving it out with concealer. I just kind of run through the empty spots with my dip brow. So just something like that, nothing too crazy, just to fill in the void. And then I'm going in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use this pretty much on like a daily basis just because it's so convenient with a little sponge. And I just go under my eyes, over my lids, and then I'll try to do half my forehead. I go ahead and do all like the normal concealer spots just because it's just as easy to go ahead and do those couple other places too. And then I'm usually too lazy to get up and wet my sponge, so I will just use a brush to blend it out. This is a Sigma Taper Kabuki F86. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set everything. This is the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder. Okay, so then I'm going in with some bronzer. This is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. And on a daily basis, I usually just throw on some bronzer. I don't really blush or highlight. Sometimes I highlight. just depends on how I'm feeling. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the face. And then I take that same bronzer on a fluffy brush and just put some into the crease just for a little bit of color and dimension. I don't usually bust out any eyeshadows on like a quick everyday basis. You can take that same brush if you don't want to switch brushes and just run some underneath. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes. And apply some mascara. I don't wear falsies on a daily basis, so I just put on a good few coats of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. Okay, so on the daily, that's literally pretty much it. I'm going to wait until the end to put on a lip color. Right now, I just have foundation on my lips so I'm gonna do all of my lips at the end so now I'm gonna move on to the Instagram side so I've already primed and I'm gonna go in with a much thicker foundation this is the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one 
and this is a much thicker, more full coverage foundation. Okay, so then for this brow, it's a much more intricate process. I'm not going to put it in this video just because it's going to save some time so this video isn't super long, but I have a whole video on how I do my brows like I'm about to, so I will link that down below if you guys want to check it out and see how I do this brow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and set both brows with some brow gel and prepped this eye with concealer and powder. So now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for this eye, but it's going to be more dramatic than this one, so I'm going to go ahead and do the eye and then do all my concealer and all that. So I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to start with the shade Burnt Orange on that same fluffy brush that I used for bronzer. Okay, I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit, so I just took that first color and put it in my crease and kind of flicked it out towards the tail of my brow. Now I'm going to take the shade Real Garage, this is orange right here, and a smaller brush, this is a Sigma E25, and I'm just going to put that a little bit lower in the same area, just to deepen the crease a little bit. And then I'll blend it out with that first brush. So then going back in with some of that concealer and a flat concealer brush, I'm going to apply that to my lid and carve out the crease. And then I'm going to take some glitter. This one is from NYX and it is the shade Bronze. And I'm taking another flat shadow brush and some glitter glue. This one is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to work in sections, apply that to my lid, and then apply the glitter. And this is why I didn't do my concealer first because I had a feeling I was going to be using glitter and it gets very messy. I'm taking a really small brush. This is the Morphe M507 and a little bit of that Real Gar color. Just very, very carefully and gently running along the edge just to try to get a nice smooth line then you can go back in if you want and touch anything up build up intensity that is totally up to you so then i'm going to go ahead and do a wing with the nyx matte liquid liner Okay, so I went ahead and popped on some lashes too, and these are the House of Lashes in the Style Iconic. So I'm going to let those dry and move on to the face, and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to tap that in with a sponge. It is really hard to do like one half of your face here. So 
So then I'm going to go ahead and bake with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. So then I'm going to go ahead and do some cream contouring too. I don't usually do this, but the Instagram side is usually pretty extra and glamorous. So I'm going to use this foundation palette from RCMA and I'm just going to mix some of the darker shades and go ahead and contour with that. Just go ahead and buff it out. So then I'm going to go ahead and set that contour with this shade from the Kat Von D palette. And then I'm going to go in and bronze with that same bronzer I used earlier. And then I'm going to take that same loose powder and just sharpen that contour. So while that sits, I'm going to go in with this blush from Mellow Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Bronze, and it's basically like another bronzer. So then I'm going to go ahead and brush away all of the excess baking powder. Then I'm going in with highlight. I'm going to first use a cream highlight. This is a stick one from... Tristique, and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply that to the high points of my face. Then I'm highlighting with Flexitarian from ColourPop. I'm just going to spray my sponge with some Fix Plus just to go over that. Just so it melds into the skin nicely. Okay, so back to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take a pencil brush and that shade Realgar. And I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lashes. Then taking a flat definer brush in this dark brown called Cypress Umber, I'm going to press that up against the base of my lashes. And then I'm going to take some of Burnt Orange in that smaller fluffy brush and just blend it out and continue to smoke it down a little bit lower. Then I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with a black pencil. This one is just from NYX because it's what I have sitting here, but any black pencil you have will do. Okay, so then I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with this shade from the palette called Vermeer. Okay, so now we are on to lips. So for my everyday side, I'm just going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this one is in the shade Abu Dhabi. Just kind of a nude, everyday kind of color. And then for the Instagram side, I'm going to first line with this pencil from MAC in the shade Soar. And 
And then I'm using the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Get It. It's just like a nude peachy color. I'm also going to take that shade Vermeer to highlight my brow bone because I almost forgot. Okay, so that completes this video. Here's my everyday side and my Instagram side. It's funny seeing them side by side. Like I see a whole face of this and a whole face of this, but never just like one or the other. Kind of crazy, but some days I feel like this, other days I feel like doing this, some days I don't wear any makeup at all, but that is the beauty of makeup. You can do so many different things with it depending on how you're feeling. Everyone can do whatever they want to do. It all comes off at the end of the day, so just wear whatever it is that you guys want to wear. And yeah, that is all I have for you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.